July 4th, for crying out loud. <laughs> Declaration of Independence and everybody here for the tea party. It's just, it makes you smile. my God own, nobody forced me, I was 19 years old, got my citizenship and especially the freedom that we have here to do things, to become the best we can be. I came from a communist country and since I came, I've been enjoying my freedom, but they lack everything. They don't have the medications, they don't have what is needed to treat people. Sure, if you go to the to the country from like Europe, they go to Cuba to be treated, yeah, they have what those people need, but not for the people from Cuba. Well, we're celebrating the birth of our country and um, we want to preserve its freedom that we feel it's being taken away from us. So that's little by little and uh, too many of us are falling asleep and not paying attention. And this is our country and we were blessed with this country and we need to just, you know, simple basics, you know. It's simple, we want our government, we want a clean house in the government. We want them to operate the way they're supposed to operate. We want them to uh, lower taxes, cut spending, balance a budget, simple stuff that any successful uh, business or any entity has to do to survive. Freedom is a God-given right, and we want to preserve that right. Oh, I don't know. We don't have a formal membership, but I attend uh, all of the meetings. I uh, ride the buses to uh, our rallies in D.C. Congressman Garrett? Hi, how are you? We met at Hawthorne Gospel Church. I'd like to introduce you to Benjamin Smith. He's a former Navy SEAL. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you guys are in the news all the time now. So. Uh, you know, yeah, 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 it, yeah, it's the administration. They're looking for votes. That's true. Um, <laughs> for, former, how long ago? Uh, it was four years ago. Four years ago. Still looks like you're in pretty good shape, though, doesn't it? Look like, uh, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> it's the worst shape I've ever been in. But... <laughs> now, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to keep up there. It's good to meet you, sir. Nice to see you that you're out here amongst the crowd. And, yeah. You know, pressing the flesh and listening to what Absolutely. people say. Now, are you a, a Ridgewood guy, or where are you all from? Uh, right now, I'm out in Staten Island. Oh, yeah, Staten Island. Mm -hmm. So you came in for this? Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, um, it's nice to meet you. I speak for uh, Tea Party Express, move America forward. Did a lot of endorsing for, um, you know, military candidates this past, you know, this past election and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Excellent. You know, just, well, Congressman just Garrett is a very strong supporter of the military yeah, absolutely. and the Patriot clause of the Constitution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually hold classes for... On the Constitution. On the we Constitution. Do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like a lot of stuff you're doing. Well, and, thanks. You know, looking up, following yeah, much you and of stuff it. like that.
back from Staten Island? Yes. Yes. Yeah, is there much of a conservative movement out there in that neck of the woods? Yeah, we got Michael Grimm as, as yep. our I know Michael. Uh, rep there, and just a you know great guy, former yeah. Marine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he has a real history. Of course, me and him, whenever we whenever we meet, we're throwing it back and forth. Yeah, yeah. And then you know we may get serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, but, Mike's a good guy. What does July Fourth mean for you? Well, it's our independence. It represents when we made the decision we wanted to be free, and we went forth and made that decision happen. The third world countries, like Haiti, really opened up my eyes. I was in my early 20s, and it, it changed my views towards many things. So you can see the disparity, right? Oh, How sure. People live it, it made me thankful for the tiniest things, the birds, the flowers, the smells. And I appreciate that. Well, that's why we Are you brothers? Yes. Oh, We're four, cool. four years apart. We served in the same era. I was a uh, United States Marine Corps, 74 to 78. And uh, pride is what brings me here today. Uh, it's in the song. Uh, how's it go? About, about our pilgrim's pride or something, you know, of our fathers before us. And and uh, that that's, that's the memory of people who sacrificed before us. And at least we could do is show up. And... Um, what I learned in grade school about uh, taxation, uh, no taxation without representation, that, that's been flipped upside down and it kind of turns my stomach that that's the way the world is now. There's representation for the wrong things and not for the right things. And uh, unfortunately, that's the way it seems to have taken over. And uh, I just believe in the good Lord up above. He's my captain. So uh, if there's a command and an order to be uh, carried out, not only will are the Marines guarding the uh, the gates uh, up in heaven, but uh, hoorah. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're walking the streets today still as we do. Great. And he's also a disabled guy. Oh my goodness. As a matter of so fact, my brother helped take care of me when the go my government didn't to help get me to here today. This brother sacrificed because he understood. Sure. Well, that's why we feel really, the Tea Party just feel that you guys have been doing all the heavy lifting, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of security. The back, the back, the backbone work. And, and you know, and you continue to do it, but that's why we stepped up and we're like, you know, enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Tyranny mm -hmm. isn't just out to other shores, it's within our country. Well, it sounds like you're standing right? up for representation, which is a good thing. Yes. Because yeah. the, truth needs, people, right? the truth needs to be understood. Absolutely. And I'm Whatever really ashamed of our government right now. I feel bad. You know, it's Most not the United people. States. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like they're all looking out for themselves. It's called crony capitalism. We right? have to it fight. became a special interest group. We, we have to fight for everything. You know, it's so difficult that so many guys gave up. More people during Vietnam and after Vietnam died than on the war. And that's 58,000 plus. They went for help. They got bad attitudes. <laughs> They turned around, left, a lot of them drank themselves to death because they had post-traumatic stress disorder. And, you know, what's going on in the country now, um, I don't like it. I, I just, I'm moving out of New York, too many taxes, going down south because I have a lot of arthritis. So hopefully I can stretch my dollar down there a little better. It's getting out of hand. And that's wrong. You should be with your family. And I really appreciate a group like yourself that comes forward face to face and takes the time. And there's sincerity that's being exchanged. It's not just political talk. No, no. We, don't not need, political we don't need any more of that. that. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. How Obama said he all he talked about was change, and boy, are we seeing change. Change from what to what, right? I know it, but I mean, we went from the frying pan into the fire. This is the best brain. This is. Becoming active as a uh, as a citizen, uh, which I've been inactive most of my life, and uh, trying to preserve our liberty, which I see eroding every day, and uh, it's it's vitally important to to me as a citizen and as an American, and I'm trying to teach my kids the importance of it and teach them to see to evaluate what goes on week to week basis so they can see where their liberty is going. It's a veteran love of country. As a Christian conservative, uh, firm belief in what we're doing is right. And a uh, chance to support all my fellows in that effort.
And I believe we should get our country back on track. We should have limited government. We should have more freedom, uh, less of this pushing through things without people even knowing about them, passing bills without reading the bills. And I'm here to support the courts. The things they say about us are just so terrible. The Constitution is what we basically go by in, in determining our rules and laws. Well, thank you, Grace. Oh, it's so good to see you. You've got your American flag and you're all dressed in blue. So tell us, what does July 4th mean for you? Um, it's, really it's a really special day because we get to celebrate America and how we made such a big accomplishment. Yeah, no, that's great. And right, we're a free country, a free nation. Yeah. I like the 4th of July because we get to celebrate and get to see all the what Ridgewood has to offer. Oh, very nice. Well, everybody comes together, yeah. right, and yeah. outside. Um, that's great. Now, what is the, the theme this year is the Constitution. Yeah. yeah. What do you know about the Constitution? Could you tell me? We learned this? about it in school, and <laughs> the Constitution is like, um, first, take the floor. We haven't <laughs> spoke in a while. <laughs> you obviously don't worry about Oh, baby, your name is Grace, but we praise, we praise, praise your name.